Hey everyone, it's another Try Guys Mystery Box Cooking Challenge. We're turning the tables and I'm making Maggie cook. The wives are in control. That's right. Do not eat! Oh no. Uh, oh, no. no. Are you kidding? What up, Try Fam? My name's Zach and today we're going to be doing a Mystery Box Cooking Challenge. Obviously, the rules are the same. They have to use all four ingredients that we choose. They are allowed to use other ingredients in the dish, but for this household at least, they have to already be open. What are we going to make Maggie cook today? Don't love frozen food, so I'm hoping Keith doesn't pick anything too weird in the back of our freezer. <laughs> she said she didn't want anything from the freezer, so I'm gonna start there. Ooh, you know what? I feel like there's a lot that could be done with some frozen potatoes, some french fries. That's chicken nuggets. So should I just make you like a five-year-old's dinner? Yeah, can I have a little fifth grader's lunch, please? Yeah. Oh my goodness. We have Wes's little cheddar cheese snack. Edamame. What is this? The tiniest little piece of stinky, stinky blue cheese. <laughs> and pickles. This is gonna be so gross. So I'm not gonna take this easy on him. I wanna choose some ingredients that are not obvious at all, but also very near and dear to my own heart. Oh, ho, oh, oh. Laird's Apple Jack. So this is an apple brandy liqueur. Are you kidding? Gene, what? This is not food. First, corn, because you bought this and I don't know what to do with it. We've got kiwi, because we bought 14 of these. Lime, because you love citrus. Yes, yes. I have no idea what to do with jackfruit, so <laughs> I kind of just want to give this to her to watch what she does so that I know how to do it. Okay, coconut milk. <laughs> yeah, leftovers, right? No waste, no waste, no waste family. Waste, baby. Peanut butter. Peanut butter, I like peanut butter. Fire roasted diced green chilies. I gave you these, uh -huh. you gave them right back. Uh -huh. Nutella, uh, that's a curveball. Vodka, and then bourbon. I don't know, this is hard. What is this? That's a bonus, that's a bonus. Keith's favorite onion. But it's a red onion, it's a white onion, I don't know. It's basically I'm red onion, challenge. it's basically red onion. I don't know what I've done. Do I boil them? Should I put them in a pot of water? I think I could, no, I'm not gonna boil them. Maybe I'll boil them. How much of this do I have to use and how much of it, like, can I use other stuff too? These ingredients need to be the star. These have to be in it. Everything has to be in it? Yes. What can I make with this, like a Long Island iced tea? No, it can't be a drink. That's my other rule, you can't make a drink. This isn't fair. Don't you think you're the best chef out of anyone associated with the Try Guys? Mm-hmm. So, take this as a challenge. I'm gonna be like your Asian mom. Do better, do good. What do you think, Bowie? What would you cook? What would you cook? What would you cook? What, would, what are you doing? What would you cook? Vodka's good if you like soak things in it. So I think what I'm gonna do is make vodka soaked cherries, poached apple with wine, vegan vanilla ice cream with the bourbon, and then for the apple jack, I'll make some type of cake. I'll just grab a couple of these. Do we even have the stem? And then we're literally just gonna put vodka on them and put them in the fridge overnight. One down, three to go. All right, Maggie, what are we cooking? I think I'm gonna do jackfruit tacos. Yum. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the kiwis yet. And for the corn, I'm thinking we make a vegan elote because you cannot handle any sort of creamer cheese. Okay, I know, I know what I'm gonna do. So we make these kind of like not about KFC bowls sometimes when we don't have a lot of food in the house and we do mashed potatoes and then just vegetables on top. So I think I'm going to make a knockoff KFC curry bowl. Do you think you know how to make curry? curry before. Yeah, and there are potatoes. I, I mean, we made curry once and it was coconut milk. They're big old chunkers. Ew. They literally look funny. <laughs> we'll start with one can. They do look weird. What is it? Bowie. Get out of there. Yeah, the kitchen, mister. So the first thing I think I'm gonna need to do is my, I gotta do the fries. I'm gonna boil them. I'm gonna boil them. I'm gonna boil them and see if they boil like potatoes. I think I gotta figure it out. Um, I'm gonna make turkey burgers with a little bit of edamame protein, some shallot, Ooh. and then put all of that on a bun. We have some buns in the freezer, so these are gonna have to defrost. 
figure that out. I'm stunned. That sounds delicious. We'll see how it You're is. already winning my heart. You <laughs> <laughs> shallots in there. Shallot. A scoop of the scoop though. Let's go with that much. We love garlic. Oh my god. Yeah. That should be fine. It goes sideways. And it tastes kind of funky. So we just put like half a bottle of ranch on it. Oh my god. <laughs> you only have so much ranch left. Oh yeah. Crush that garlic. Oh yeah. Crush it up. Maggie, you are crushing it right now. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Cause you're cru cause you're crushing. No, I'm actually crushing it. Thank no. you so much, Zach. Thank you. <laughs> Not like you're crushing no. it. No. Thank you. I'm doing a very good job. Yeah, like you're cru you're crushing it. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got my shallots cut. I have my edamame in here. I'm gonna mush it a little bit so that it's like, whoops, a little bit too excited there. Uh, all right, whisk is not working. <laughs> 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 it's bourbon and strong. The thing is you can't use too much alcohol in ice cream. Otherwise, your ice cream will be able to freeze all the way and it'll just be kind of goopy. I think a lot of people are afraid of making like ice cream or frozen desserts at home, but even if you just understand how to make one base, like you can reuse it and add so many different flavors. And I also need my cheesy cracker. <laughs> Don't need that one. <laughs> oh yeah, what's happening here? So Keith has me put all of the butts of the vegetables into this little guy. And then when we're ready, Keith makes veggie stock. Oh, should I put some frozen veggies in it? Hmm. That's good. You can really taste the caramel. You know, on the tail end, you can probably get the burden, but I think like I want you know, a little more. Just feel like some of the G would do. Just keep adding more and more for the alcohol. All right, I think our toast are done. Vanilla beans are actually really easy. You just have to split it in half and then you scrape out the inside, which are all those little specks. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt just to help all of the flavors melt together there. So we should talk about this. This is almost a month removed from mm -hmm. you being sick and you can't smell, you can barely taste. And now I'm having like cravings like crazy and nothing's hitting the spot. Like I'll eat it and it's not like, it normally tastes, so I'm like, oh, I just want dumplings. <laughs> so she's gonna cook us a meal, but she can't smell <laughs> and she can't taste. So there's our mixture. Cheesy crackers, turkey, edamame, and shallots. Yummy. Now I'm gonna add some spices. So I'm adding oil and all the spices to make it nice and flavorful. Sugar, spice. And everything rice. I'm gonna do a couple dashes of the, I think it's called pronounced garam. Is it garam? Garam? Masala? Or sprinkle that. Liberally. I like seasoning. I like things to be flourful. Not making any okay. dings that anyone. Okay, <laughs> oh my god. I just didn't know how the chocolate would taste, so I didn't want to be too specific. Spices make everything so much better. <laughs> I don't have to have this. And then we got our salt. Damn. Bam, 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 Do people know who Emerald is anymore? You think? Yes. Like, is Bam like lost on the new generation? They're probably more into the Salt Bay than it Bam. Salt Bay, I assume. Oh, give me the Salt Bay. I will make my ricotta mixture. Let's add a little bit of Nutella. I won't add much. That's what I call not much, because I eat this stuff with a spoonful. Very good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see how this goes. <laughs> they look like little turds. <laughs> They're gonna be so delicious. It looks kind of like something you would feed a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Just one spoon? You want to start with that. Are you the best boy? Are you? What? I made spicy mayo. Oh. That was fast. 30 minutes left. You've only used one of the give ingredients. Well, you know, cooking takes time. Give me a second. Well, this is exciting. Isn't well, it? isn't there some, a <laughs> few other things we haven't started at all? Do we have a plan? I, yeah, these are just, these are just gonna cook like regular chicken nuggets. Oh, when? Like they, they take like five minutes. What about this? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> just turn in the little corns. 
corn. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. no. You're not even gonna be able to hold them, bird. They're nice and like you can't even see it on the front flip side. Flip that over. No. Why would I flip it over? <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, he's hot. He was in for too long. Oh my god. Oh, hot monkeys. Can you burn peanut butter? Yeah. I think one's heated. Oh, heat. It needs heat. <laughs> Normally I approach them completely intact, but it's really gonna do one apple. I think I'm gonna cut it in half. <gasps> My nuggies! <laughs> Even if you just do a little bit of lemon zest, it'll make a huge difference. I think more lemon for sure. Lemon it up. It's too peanut buttery. I know I need my salt, my fat, my acid, my heat. So we can make some sort of kiwi salsa to go on top of the tacos. You think that the fruit as a, I get that. I mean, there's such thing as mango salsa. Like why can't kiwi hmm? salsa be a thing? No! Um, I think I'm gonna make a sauce. Cool. Yeah. Maybe like a spicy? No, spicy doesn't go very well with blue cheese. The last thing you want is like a grainy sugar sauce drizzled on everything. You want nice and smooth, like an icing. They're just not like as creamy as I would like yeah. them to be. I like creamy mashed potatoes. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that was weird. Put butter in it. I don't even want to dignify that with a response. <laughs> so the last step we have to do tonight is I want these to be able to soak in the great icing liquid. But right now, I'm just gonna make sure that it's all covered. I think I got it. I think I'm gonna win. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Make an also oh, little cut. Also oh, little. Wow, that's a freaking hack right there. Separate your chicken, your fake chicken, into two even piles. Two fistful. <laughs> and then we just gently. <laughs> <laughs> this literally looks like a fifth grader made it. <laughs> How are pickles so good? All right, there's one. One burger ready. Yum. Just real quick. This is like the apple jack sauce. So tasty, so flavorful. And then we're just gonna get the cherries. They're just perfect. Okay, Eugene, I'm ready for you. Come taste test. After my two-day shoot. Your epic two-day mystery box challenge done. I even made you a cocktail. You made me a cocktail? Oh boy. All right, Ariel, I'm excited to see what you have for me. Three, two, one. Wow, that's beautiful. Wow, that's really good. It looks like a cake. Mm -hmm. with ice cream, my favorite, mm -hmm. a poached apple, and cherries of some sort. So tell me what you prepared us today, chef. Okay, so I made us vegan carnitas tacos with kiwi, avocado, tomato salsa, and vegan alocas. These are my Curap Sea Bowl. They are two Michelin stars. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's do the first course first. Okay. Because this is intended to be an amuse-bouche. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, lovely, yeah. lovely. The little chia seeds and banana make it different mm -hmm. and make it all tied together. Cheers. Mmm. Take a creative use of Nutella. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> Put those aside. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you get like one perfect bite. That's good. There's something missing. I don't know if it's heat. I don't know if it's. Yeah, it's a good amount. You didn't lemon. write on cayenne because I feel a tiny little bit of mouth mm -hmm. warmness, but no irritation or pain. Mm -hmm. Should we put the ranch on it and see if that was it? Go get the ranch. Yes. Let's start with the taco first. Yeah, I'm super curious. Be honest, my senses are diminished, so. Ooh. Ooh, that got cook. Mm -hmm. Holy shit balls. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? This is a turkey edamame cracker burger. <laughs> <laughs> Probably gonna be oh, one favorite cracker burger. Cracker burger. You ready? Mmm, oh that is good. That's really good. The spicy ranch. The spicy sauce is really good. Oh, that looks really moist. It's super moist. Mm -hmm. Mmm, it's like a caramel sauce on top. It feels really good with the ice cream. That's really good. Okay, let's wash it down with some corn. 
also spicy. <laughs> wow, Midwestern life hack. Yeah, just add ranch. Okay, here's a ranch bag. Ranch challenge. Was that it? It's good. <laughs> Right, and right. if you ever only have french fries in your freezer, boil them up, because yeah. they do kind of make mashed potatoes. It works. But yeah, I think this turned out really well, and I might actually write the, the recipe down. I think you should, yeah. I might omit the crackers, but the edamame turkey burger is pretty yeah. spot on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shocked, proud, and disappointed at how coherent this entire meal is. <laughs> <laughs> you want the kiwi? Yeah, the kiwi makes sense. It feels like that's what was supposed to be used. Thank you. That could be on a restaurant menu. I think it's that good. Yeah. What do you? What is your name for? Boozy Bunt. Oh, Eugene's Boozy Bunt. It sounds gross when you say it like that. How about Matt's Boozy Bunt? I really want more of that cake. It's so good. Did you make more? This has been so fun both times we did it. Just go in your pantry, put stuff together, and challenge yourself to think outside the box. You might come up with some really cool new recipes. Show us some of your creations. We saw a lot of people do this last time. We'd love to see you guys flip the script on each other as well at home. A delicious meal, dear. Thanks. And you get a kiss, which means <gasps> you I'm won. The There's like food in your eyelashes. Do you want to need more videos or no? Sure. Yeah? Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. It's fun to cook with you in the kitchen. people asked if I was eating strawberries and ranch. I don't, but because I think you guys think I should try it, I'll try it. This can't be good. Oh my God. Kind of tastes like a strawberry shortcake. Huh. I don't hate it, but I didn't plan it. <laughs>